Uh, this isn't going well. I thought that bit was a little bit too flat and it carried on for a little bit too long. Um, I've gone the wrong way again. Um, there's a 30% climb going that way and a 30% climb going that way. It's 931 meters. We've just driven down it and I'm already shaking. It's hard enough coming down it. <laughs> I'm not even at the bottom yet. What are we doing? Hello from sunny Cornwall. Right, so I'm currently here in an Airbnb in Cornwall. I was hoping to get out and do a 60k ride today, um, but the weather has scuppered my plans. It's absolutely horrendous outside. It's blowing a gale, it's pouring down rain. Um, and yesterday uh, I was supposed to climb Dockham Hill and I drove up it. It was about six miles long. I stopped in Morton Hampstead. I decided against it because it was gonna take me so long and the rain was coming in at two o'clock. So <laughs> we scuppered and we went and did the Granite Way. So we got to a point there where it said it's a uh, permission only and you can only ride through in August and bank holidays. So as you can see over my left shoulder there, the rain is coming in rapidly. We've turned around, we're gonna spin back, go back to Oakhampton, find something to eat. But it's a lovely trail. It needs to be a nicer day. The wind is horrendous. <laughs> really struggle to stay upright on the viaduct. Uh, not really what I had in mind for our nice weekend away in Cornwall. <laughs> but anyway, onwards and upwards. And also now he's turned around, we've got a tailwind, so it wasn't as bad coming back over the viaduct. They're kind of flying with it right behind you, but the rain has arrived. We haven't beaten the rain. The original plan was to pick up four official climbs around Cornwall, uh, and then on Monday, tomorrow, and we were going to head all the way up the coast from Tintagel uh, and pick up all the climbs up on the North Devon coast. I'm hoping we can still do that. The weather looks a little bit better tomorrow for today. So good morning. It is now Monday, Valentine's Day. <laughs> So my treat for my uh, wife today is I'm going to cycle a load of climbs and she's going to sit in the car and wait for me. Um, I'm in Boss Castle. Um, yesterday was a bit of a washout, but we did manage to get around and have a little bit of a look. So this is a little bit of Cornwall. I'm about to go and do the Boz Castle Hill, which is one of the official climbs. It's three and a half K long, maximum gradient is only 10% and it is a 6% average all the way up. So I've driven down it already, it doesn't look too hard. But it's three and a half K up and down.
Oh, it's a good job I just checked the app then. Because there was a road that went round a bend and a turn off. And I went the wrong way. <laughs> so I just thought I'd better check the app. And I've gone the wrong way. So I hope I haven't messed up the segment. And I hope it still counts. Oh, steady start so far. I know we've got a couple of switchbacks to go. Now, there were some stunning views on that climb. That was a nice climb. It wasn't steep, nice pace. Uh, I'm just hoping I didn't miss the second by going the wrong way. <laughs> but it's time to go all the way down to bottom now, enjoy the descent and the views and find a coffee, I think. Can you have coffee after three and a half K? <laughs> Right, so I'm back at the car park, that's the first climb done. Next thing is just double check I've got that climb and then we're off to the next climb. Right, it's just starting to rain. Strava says I've got it. The app doesn't say I've got it yet. I'm hoping it'll update, fingers crossed. So the next one is Crackington Haven. It's a few miles up the coast. Hopefully we'll be in the car when it's raining and out when the sun's shining. <laughs> but I'm hoping to do five climbs today up this uh, Cornwall North Devon coast. So fingers crossed I'll be able to get them all in. That was a much tougher start. 20% ramps on those couple of little steep ramps down the bottom. But it's evened out a bit now. It's only 7 k uh, seven it's only seven percent. Oh feels like it's flat now. <laughs> but what a pretty little harbour that is, Crackington Haven. Not somewhere I'd ever have gone. Uh, very windy in the harbour. Otherwise I chuck up the drone. But this should be about 2k long. Uh, I think I've done the maximum gradient. So I've just got to get my way for another kilometre. About 7%, I think. Oh, huffing and puffing, he says. <laughs> <laughs> no, this isn't going well. I thought that bit was a little bit too flat and it carried on for a little bit too long. Um, I've gone the wrong way again. There was only one road out. I don't even know where I could have gone wrong. Oh, well, <laughs> back down to try the next one. What a wally. <laughs> All right, I don't know if you can see that big steep 20% ramp behind me, but that's where I went, thinking that was the way, but apparently it's that way, which is downhill. So it must go uphill afterwards. Which means I've got to go back down <laughs> and do it all again. <laughs> oh, my life. <laughs> this weekend keeps going wrong. What's the problem?
so it's incredibly windy down the bottom but what a cracking climb you could even say it was a crackington climb why don't simon warren <laughs> let's just hope we don't keep going wrong <laughs> i'm going to be doing a lot of climbing today i wanted to do five climbs i've already done an extra one <laughs> well there is a cafe just over there whoop i'm gonna see if we can get some lunch So I'm at the bottom of the middle look, which is climb 111 on the another 100 climbs. Um, there's a 30% climb going that way and a 30% climb going that way. It's 931 meters. We've just driven down it and I'm already shaking. Um, but the views look stunning. I've just got to pluck up the courage to do it. Now. <laughs> Deb's just said I'm mad and I think I am. I think it'd be tough going out Whichever way you want to go out, look. <laughs> oh, it's incredibly windy, but it goes all the way up there. Oh yes, I am so proud of myself. That is one hell of a climb, both in toughness and in the views. Oh yes, Mill look, got to do this one. You have got to do this one. Oh, and that's it. Chuffed to bits with that one. That was an incredible climb. The next one's called Coombe Hill. It's the other side of Butte. It's a little, quite a way past Butte. So we've got a bit of a drive to the next one. Give me a chance to recover. <laughs> Ready for the next 30% though, eh? Don't wanna wake up. Wish that I was brave, but I've never been the one. Wish that we could stay like this. I wanna stay. Wish that I was brave, but I've never been the one. Wish that we could stay like this. I wanna stay if I got superpowers. All right, so I'm at the foot of the next one. This next one is Coombe Hill. It's 930 meters long. It's got a maximum gradient at 25%, but the sign says 15. So I'm hoping the sign's right and uh, Velaviewer is wrong. <laughs> so an average gradient at 10%. Let's get this one done. So of all the climbs we've done today, that was the least impressive. It was just a meander. I nearly got hit by the bus. <laughs> I wonder where he was going. He was coming really wide. But you've got this satellite station at the top, whatever GCH cube you is. Uh, so now back down, we've got Clavelli next, which is only 400 meters, but it's another 30 percenter. Should be fun. <laughs> Right, so I made my way over to Clavelli. I've been and asked at the, uh, the shop, it's okay to just leave the car here. We're going down the road, we're not actually going into the village, but it is 30%, it's 431 meters. Um, <laughs> it's gonna be fun, but this is the last one of the day, so all the effort for this one.
gotta hold on to me I remember the sound of us being loud So loud, so loud I just wonder where It's hard enough coming down here <laughs> We're not even at the bottom yet What are we doing? This is going to be torture That's just ludicrous. I keep popping wheelies. And I nearly come off once. And I nearly come off a second time. Your right foot come out the pedal. And I nearly went left. Just in a cycle across dismount with that. It's nearly the top. I can say that much. It's nearly the top. But that was difficult, man. That was really difficult. Yeah, it's literally just run up bend, so I've got far to go. But uh, I've got 104 meters to go. <laughs> I managed three quarters of it. Oh. That's it, five official climbs done. A semi-successful weekend in terms of cycling and making videos, but I've had a great weekend. Uh, it's been a lovely weekend. Even with the rain yesterday, we managed to get out and have a look around Cornwall. But it just means we've got to come back and do those four climbs in North Cornwall again. We are actually in North Devon at the minute, in Clavelli, and we're going to head home. But anyway, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. And we will see you next Sunday. I have no idea where I'm going yet, but I'm sure I think of something. But I've seen the forecast. The long-range forecast looks just exactly the same as yesterday. So maybe we won't be planning too much away from home. <laughs> but anyway, we'll see you in the next video. So dumb. I wish I could get you out of my head.